Really? I read as well, which is really nice that originally, I mean, I don't know if you just said it for the papers or uh -huh. which fair play. Originally, you weren't bothered about the money, you wanted to go on for more representation, yeah. like which I thought was really nice as well. Yeah, so I never, want, I never like, we didn't even know them. Uh, sorry, no, sorry again, <laughs> yeah. tongue twister. Um, we didn't know how much the money was ever going to be until we were there. Oh, okay. So we didn't get told it was like up to 120 okay. grand. So I just wanted to go on there to show people because a lot of times with my condition and stuff, a lot of people don't like, they often like get quite shocked or they think like, oh my God, she can't do this. And I was like, I'm going to do exact same things as yeah. everyone else mm. and then show you by watching yeah. you, like watching me that I can do the same thing. Yeah. like to educate. Because yeah. I think there's a lot of like hilarity and stuff and people see me and my condition and stuff and they see me in public like, oh my god she can't like doing just normal day things like i drive and like i'm trying to show my tiktok and stuff i out. saw that TikTok. yeah you've seen it yeah. it's not yeah. the most flattering i got like this the whole <laughs> no, time i I'm saw like, i thought yeah. that was so okay. interesting yeah. Yeah. I, I, I never knew that could use, uh, yeah hand the, controls yeah, yeah. yeah so i literally use my hand controls to push and pull levers and stuff because a lot of people just think i'm like literally wrapped in bubble wrap mm. so i thought if i go on the show then i can educate people and then they can if they ever see someone in my condition in public they can be like oh right okay like she's just the exact same as yeah, me yeah, yeah. and like a lot of people are like oh you're friends like yeah friends i drive i go out Lights out, like I of do course, the obviously. Yeah, I did the exact same as everyone yeah. else. So yeah, so I just that's the yeah, whole reason. Yeah, because it was saying that you had like not like school was actually all right for you, but yeah. it was grow like after that with like mainly adults that you had the more yeah. worse incidents and like yeah. you know harassment in the streets and stuff like that and. I was, we've said it before quite a few times on this podcast and I looked for the, what it's called this morning, I cannot find the actual word, but it's in like films, how they use, you know, more disabilities as something that's scary in a film yeah. and it literally triggers us to behave like that yeah. with people in public and yeah. like, it's actually so disgusting. I think a lot of people are like, now there's coming mm -hmm. in more lawsuits against it because mm -hmm. I know there was a film, Freaks from like the 1920s or something, yeah. which has set kind of that boundary off if that makes sense yeah. but now you look at it and a lot of horror films it's always like you know someone's got like a disfigurement or an yeah. arms fell off like you know something like that that's yeah. deemed as scary yeah and i think a lot of people act like that and then they just turn it into this horrible uh -huh. you know like harassment mm. thing and yeah. it's disgusting but i think you going on TV and literally show, like even the yeah. roller coaster thing, like I was yeah. watching your Instagram this morning, it was making me howl <laughs> that you going upside yes. on that. And I just think that's great, because again, yeah. you're not wrapped in bubble wrap, like you're a person mm -hmm. yeah. the day, who cares? And like you said earlier as well, you had just as much time and yeah, as everyone else. Le level playing Play And you fucking won. Else. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. I think going off what you just said there, because I think like when I was on social media and stuff, I was on TikTok and, and I was scrolling through and this is before I went on, it's two weeks before, and I seen a TikTok and it was like this mom had like this, her daughter brought home like a school project. I said, my mommy likes like, my mommy likes to, I don't know, like eat, peanut butter sandwiches and all of this. And then it's like, my mommy's scared of, and it was midgets. And then it was like like 200,000 comments of like, everyone be like, oh my God, I'm scared of them too. Oh my God, I didn't realize someone was scared of like dwarfs and all of that. And I was reading it and I said to my friend, I was like, oh my God, I don't wanna go on the show. I don't wanna go on the show. I was like, I can't, I'm not, I don't know. And then I was, I didn't realize people are actually scared. And then when I was on the show, um, I like did it all and all of that when I came off again and I went back to work and I met this girl in my work and she came up to me she's like I've never met someone in your condition like I was actually quite scared to meet you I was like why and I was like mm. I didn't realize and then I realized that people actually are scared of people with my condition because of like things in TV or like pantomimes or like you know all of that and I was like I didn't mm. realize so I thought like by doing this again it can just show people that we're not yeah. no one's scary like, I don't think yeah. I'm scared of anyone like yeah. I, you know and I didn't want anyone to ever feel like I didn't even think people could be scared of like another person. I, to be honest, I wouldn't have yeah. thought that. I think that's yeah. very so, shallow and yeah, so narrow-minded. Yeah. Like yeah. if you genuinely are scared of someone. Of someone, just because they're different. Yeah. You know, it doesn't make a difference. And I think as well, like I went on the show because I, like at school, I, school was totally fine. I went to normal high school. It wasn't even, it was quite a rough high school. I, I had the best time ever. Like everyone was the best. And then it was just like outside school. Like, you know, when I'm going out in public, even today, like it's happened today. And it's like, even kids, it's teenagers, it's adults. Adults. and I think as well like I get like the odd like regardless of the show it would have happened before the show and yeah. it's even happening after like no one not everyone knows mm. that was watched the show not everyone's gonna know mm. who I am but um like just people pointing laughing and I think as well because they'll watch someone on TV with my condition and they'll think like it's hilarity right. you get because they have something like you've watched like seven um so like the seven dwarfs so you've watched pantomimes with someone with my condition and stuff and I think that probably this is the only disability or one of that there's like hilarity around it so you get right, because you okay. wouldn't really laugh with someone yeah. in like a wheelchair or anyone else yeah with yeah yeah i know what you mean um so that's why like i'm just trying to like raise more awareness and even speaking about it so people realize so mm. i think because people don't realize when they're staring so at least now people can watch this and they're like 
oh shit like I did actually stare at someone when they mm. were different to get because people know like you've noticed in public if someone stares at you you yeah, know yeah, so yeah. I think people yeah. don't realise they're yeah. not being sly so I think just <clears> trying to show this in a different light like that I can just do everything everyone else can yeah, do yeah and I'm being honest I said this earlier I said I just don't want to <laughs> feel inappropriate because I used to work yeah. in um, the restaurant trade right uh -huh. and they said if someone ever comes in a wheelchair or like you know um, just don't speak to them on their level if that makes yeah. sense so I was like well I don't know how to because I've had like blind people come in I've given them like a braille menu and someone uh -huh. said that could be seen rude and I was like but how's that rude no, like surely that's how and now it's like we I think especially us we come from a place of you know we want to make everyone feel accepted yeah. because that's mm. just how it is mm -hmm. mm. and like even I was saying so I was like wait it's definitely appropriate like to hug Meryl isn't it yeah. like that's not rude or anything yeah. but I think you get so in your well, head yeah and then you obviously read the worst but you're trying to be the nicest it's yes. like, shit, shit, shit. so yeah. yeah no I'm glad that you said all that like because oh, yeah. I'm just like I don't want anyone to feel like they're <clears throat> walking on eggshells do you get me yeah because yeah. like, I just like my friends all treat me the exact same as everyone else and sometimes they say like I actually forget your little do you get me like yeah. we share yeah. the same clothes like my Ran, like I literally wear the same outfits as them. I just sort of roll up the sleeves, or mm. they just wear a three quarter length. They're like, oh, it's meant to be like this. It's not. It's meant to be full length, but they're boring my outfit. <laughs> you know, it's meant to be three quarter length. It's fine. And um, so yeah, so I think like I just like I'm just the same. Like you know, a lot of people are like, oh well, I bend down with you. I'm like, just do whatever feels natural. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, like I'm just probably the same. Like if you want to hug, like I still hug. Like I just go my tiptoes. Like you know, I just make like the world isn't adapted to me. I just have to adapt myself to the yeah. world. So I'm always adapting to everything. So yeah the same mm, and yeah. even set up like we're the same height oh, so right now do you ever notice that because yeah. some people are like but when you drive like do you not have to go and boost the streets i was like no because when i'm sitting up You're i'm the like right average height, height. Yeah. it's my legs and my arms that are different yeah. so that throws people off a little like no but you must be in a booster seat i was like no i promise you so now you can talk for me like no yeah, we promise yeah. you we're the same height so yeah this could show well i mean but that's yeah. what your tiktok like uh -huh. showed us i mean i saw yeah. it and i was like oh that's so interesting like, i didn't yeah. i didn't even know that that was available no. yeah you know i'm sure is that are there other methods as well like of driving because i know you mentioned in the TikTok about there's something that you can Extended have pedals. on the foot pedal yeah. but you said it's not a safe yeah, so you can do that because I share a car. Well, my mom doesn't share a car with me anymore, but I used to share a car with my mom and my granny's for it. So I would always have to do the hand controls. So the pedals are still there, so they yeah. can just jump in and yeah, use yeah, it. Yeah. But then you can get like the extended pedals that attach on okay. um, if you are sharing cars, but they can like detach sometimes. I'm like, right. that's a fear. Imagine yeah, on the bike, I'd be like, ah, like, yeah. I wouldn't be able to reach <laughs> it at all. I'm like, yeah. sorry for the crash. I've also crashed about 11 times as well. So I don't <laughs> need any more crashes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've been declared uninsurable once. So like, oh, really? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm on the roads now, but I have been. Like, friends like whatever you do do not talk about your cars and i've just talked about my crashes um, but yeah no one get in the car no yeah, one yeah. Like, my mom literally holds on right now so she'll be driving all the way back home um but yeah or you can get the permanent pedal extension so it's like permanent ones with like a foot thing okay. but that means i would need to have like a cushion behind me to push me forward okay. and i was like you know what i was like for the sake of like not that would be I would be the only one that can use that car not anyone else yeah, so I was yeah. like I'll just do hand controls yeah, yeah, and it's like driving a go-kart my friends say they yeah, all yeah, try yeah. and they're like, yeah. like you just literally pull it and then push it that's yeah. fast yeah I know a guy that um <clears throat> lives back home and he's paralyzed from the waist oh. down and he uses Hello. one of that and it, what a good idea like that's yeah. so clever it's amazing it's such a good idea it's so easy as well and I drive it automatic too so it's just literally like a go-kart my friends like yeah. and you just drive that's it's good. easy to speed though I'm like ah oh, shit we go like six yeah, feet yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I like go back down mm. so yeah nah but it's really good how they all like adjust and like it's made me independent as well like it's mm. hard like you know before like when I was 17 I was like I need to drive I need to drive and then I've learned how to drive yeah. and it's giving you like all different doors and it's yeah. amazing because everyone else can access it as well like no matter what like disability no matter what you yeah. can always drive mm. and you've not got that taken away yeah. so with like your presenting stuff like obviously now you know you're going on loads of news programs and stuff like that like to talk uh -huh. about the show and stuff I don't know if I'm allowed to say that yeah. um, but like what's next for you? you said like you're riding the wave now you've just done this show and uh -huh. you've already showed that you can yeah. do whatever the fuck you want. Doesn't yeah, matter who you exactly. are. Exactly. Like, I love what? I can swear. Yeah. Fuck. 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 Fuck.